Hi, this is Melly with 25 and 52. I've, you know, had a decent week. I missed seeing your video on, on Monday since you weren't able to upload it. Uh, but in general, things have been fine. Um, we're in the middle of a heat wave along with the rest of the country, or most of it anyway, and it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I think the weather's getting to my health stuff. Uh, I had to... I took half a sick day yesterday, uh, midway through the work day, like right before I was going to take lunch. I was like, you know what? Mm-mm. Just no. Can't. Typing. It's hard. Don't want to. Uh, went home to my parents' house because they have better AC than uh, we do at the apartment here. Laid down on the couch for 45 minutes, and it was the best thing. Just didn't move. Didn't really nap. Just sort of laid there. It was exactly what I needed. And I went for sushi and got a tour of the garden and stuff, and it was pretty great. Oh, so I also saw Pacific Rim, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a great weekend adventure. I went to see it with uh, Katie, and we, you know, we had a lot of fun. It was a, it was a pretty cool movie, um, if you like that kind of thing. Oh, the other thing I want to say about Pacific Rim is, is the thing that I uh, reblogged on Tumblr yesterday. Uh, someone asked the female lead... Um, his name I can never remember. Rinko... Can... Yeah. Someone asked the uh, female lead, um, whose character is awesome, by the way, uh, how, you know, how she coped so well, or if she coped well with uh, the 12-hour workouts that she had to do to get crazy physically fit. Um, and she said that, you know, she was, you know, it was mostly fine. Every so often she'd lose concentration, and Guillermo del Toro would start singing the theme song to Totoro in Japanese, and that would just get her right back in the game. I also went to a farmer's market over the weekend, um, which I hadn't been to the Skokie Farmer's Market before. Skokie's the town I live in, if you're watching this and don't know. Um, and I've also, independently of that, been like, man, why aren't there any farmer's markets on Sundays? There's some on Saturdays, most of them are during the week, and you know, there's reasons for all that, but I wish there was one on Sundays. Turns out, the one within walking distance of my apartment is one that is on Sundays. So we got some great blueberries, and some pasta, and some mushrooms, a bunch of stuff. It was, it's good, it's good. We also went to Ikea and sat down on all of the couches, uh, which was pretty cool, um, because we're, you know, just narrowing it down, trying to decide on a new couch. The life of a 20-something, it's very exciting, I know. Uh, I was reading this article, a blog post about food, um, not necessarily food policy, but food and how Americans treat it and how there's a lot of different groups trying to change that at different levels, but none of them seem to have the whole picture. And I read this and everything just sort of clicked for me. I went, oh my gosh, that's it. That's, I agree with you. That's really cool. So I don't know if I showed this to you, but a couple of weeks ago I got a really neat bowl. Uh, it's, you know, handmade and stuff. I got it at an art fair in Evanston and the artist uh, actually, can't remember her name, and I don't have the little doohickey in here, um, but she won Best Ceramics at the place, and it makes me really happy, and it's food safe and everything, so I could eat out of it if I wanted, not that I have yet, but hooray, Octobowl. The other cool thing, little pointless thing, you know, life of a 20-something, it's very exciting, um, is Pat and I have been making rainbow jello. I'm going to show you one of them. Hold on. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you two of them, um, because, you know, here's one that we haven't gotten into yet. The, you know, layers are slightly uneven, um, and there's actually two. We did black cherry and then strawberry, um, but you can't really see the difference between them and this one. However, uh, somebody ate a decent chunk of it, and I'm not sure this will actually reflect on the video. Poops. Anyway, it's easier to see the difference between the two red layers on the one that has some. After we made these, I was like, hmm, I wonder what flavors of jello there are and what's the best way to do rainbow jello and that sort of I let's just say I almost bought a jello 15 flavor jello sampler online, but then I didn't. It also doesn't come with the blue one, so I'd have to buy that one separately and just I'm going to show you a cat.
Hello, Fuzzbutt. This one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Good job. Camera in your face.